that you have insulin resistant PCOS and the weight won't come off. What should you do? Trust me when I say you are not alone. They estimate about 70 to 90% of women with PCOS either have insulin resistance already or will eventually develop it. So it's very, very highly common. And even though it's not a part of the diagnostic criteria for PCOS, it's something that, again, a majority of women with PCOS have. Number one, I find something that really helps with tackling insulin resistance is making sure that you're prioritizing fiber in your diet. That usually looks like 25 to 35 grams a day of fiber. And I think the statistic last time I checked was 95% of people, like in general, not just PCOS women, 95% of people in America are not getting their fiber intake. So chances are uh, you might be one of the 95% and that can be something that can really help your blood sugar because fiber and getting enough in it or getting enough of it in our diet helps our body manage that blood sugar spike and dip. So it's a little more steady. And also fiber is a natural kind of detoxifier. So it helps your body naturally detoxify and get rid of things by, you know, regularly going number two. So you don't have to rely on any pill or any sort of crazy tea to detox your body. Fiber does it for you. Another thing that I see tends to help insulin resistance a lot is just making sure you're eating every three to four hours during your wake period from morning to evening. That is another way to keep your blood sugar steady and thus help with insulin resistance. Finally, exercise. Exercise is very underutilized and not talked about enough, but it's been proven in a lot of studies to be really effective in helping manage insulin resistance and improve insulin sensitivity. A lot of studies out there that say like, oh, you know, it's bad for you. This is bad for you. This is good for you. But really what I've seen, because I, I actually just did an article with GoodRx on insulin resistance and exercises that are good for it. What the research shows is that really a lot of exercise is good for insulin resistance. Most exercise of all types is good. So as long as you're getting something in, you can help improve insulin resistance. 